Hello friends, how are you? Hola, my name is Soren and I'm a teaching artist with the Young Audiences of Louisiana and this is Art to Heart. Today we're going to be talking about emotions. We're going to be talking about feeling happy, sad, and angry. And specifically, we're going to talk about emotional regulation, self-regulation. So this means we're going to talk about how emotions may be big or small and how they can escalate to become bigger, maybe even overwhelming, and what we can do to bring them back down uh, if, they get, if they get to that level. So we're going to do this through the art form of music. I'm going to be singing some songs with my guitar, and we're going to do some exercises, musical exercises, with the drum. As you can see, I have my djembe drum right here. Now, if you don't have a drum in your homes, that is no problem. You can pretend pots and pans are drums, and you can use that, and that will work just fine. Or you can do these exercises, you know, just clapping uh, with your hands or tapping in, tapping in your knees, and that will be no problem at all. That will work just fine for these exercises. So, I hope you enjoy this video. I've, I've enjoyed making it for you, and we'll, we'll start. Thank you. So I'd like to start by saying, hello, hola. Can everybody wait and say, hola, hello. All right, friends. So I'm going to have the assistance of my Mr. Friend, the guitar right here. And I'm going to say, hello to my friends. How are you? I'm going to say, hello. Hello to my friend. Let's say, hello, hello. I hope we have some fun and also sing along. Hello to my friends. Let's say hello. What say? Hello. Are you waiting? All right. Let's try it again. Hello to my friends. Let's say hello. Hello. Hello to my friends. Let's say hello. Hello. I hope we'll have some fun and also sing along. Hello to my friends. Let's say hello. Hello. Hello, everybody. Good to see you. All right. So today we're talking about emotions. So we're going to start with feeling happy. I know it's my favorite emotion and I'm pretty I'm feeling happy right now. So we're going to start in saying If you're feeling happy, show me with that smile. If you're feeling happy, show me with your smile. Can you show me a smile? Very good. It says Si estás feliz, muéstrame así. Si estás feliz, así. Very good. I can see those beautiful smiles. What else do you like to do when you're happy? I like to jump around. I can't jump around because I have my guitar, but maybe you want to try it in your homes. Let's see. If you're feeling happy, try and jump around. If you're feeling happy, try and jump around. Si estás feliz, salta por ahí. Si estás feliz. What else do you like to do when you're happy? Let's try skipping around. If you're feeling happy, try to skip around. If you're feeling happy, try to skip around. Si estás feliz, pisa por ahí. Si estás feliz, pisa por ahí. Very good. Good job, friends. What does it sound like or look like now when we are sad? But it's going to sound a little different than the song we just did. Let's hear it. And let's maybe start with, show me a sad face, a frown. Pretend you're very sad. <laughs> I'm very sad right now. And it goes like this. If you're feeling sad, show me with your frown. If you're feeling sad, 
Show me with that frown. Hmm, I can see those big frowns. We're feeling so sad right now. If you're feeling sad, show me with your frown. If you're feeling sad, show me with that frown. Very good. If you're feeling sad, put your head like this down. Sometimes when we're sad, we put our head down like this. It feels so sad. Si estás triste, muéstrame así. Si estás triste, muéstrame así. Very good, friends. What else do you do when you're sad? Sometimes we cry. You want to try that? When we feel so sad, we cry like this. <laughs> Very good. Cuando estamos triste, lloramos así. Cuando estoy muy triste, muéstrame así. Cuando estoy muy triste, muéstrame así. If you're feeling sad, show me like this. <laughs> Very good, friends. And if you're feeling happy, show me with a smile. Show me a smile. see those beautiful smiles. Now, what would it sound like when we are angry? I think it might sound like this. Si estás molesto, muéstrame así. Show me an angry face. When we feel so angry, show me like this. Very good. Cuando estoy Sometimes I stomp my feet like this when I'm angry. So maybe let's try that. When you're feeling angry, stomp your feet like this. When you're feeling angry, stomp your feet like this. When you're feeling angry, stomp your feet like this. look like when we are angry. I know sometimes when I'm angry I cross my arms like this and shrug my shoulders and that looks like I'm angry like this. You want to try that? Si estás molesto, muéstrame así. Si estás molesto, muéstrame así. If you're feeling angry, show me
those songs, and I hope you also join me singing them. Now, we're going to start with our rhythm exercises. So in this part of the video, we're going to talk about uh, emotions and self-regulation. Basically talking about how emotions might start small, and then they might escalate to become bigger, and then what we can do to take a moment and bring them back again to be smaller or to be more in control of our emotions. So for this activity, we're going to use our djembe drum. And with the songs, the rhythms, and the steady beat we're going to be using, it's going to be something to recreate the simulation of the emotions growing or reducing. So we're going to start with our djembe drum. And our djembe drum is feeling happy today. That's right, he's got a big smile. I wonder why. Let's ask him. So we're going to have a little song for Mr. Djembe drum, and it goes like this. Tell me why you feel so happy, feel so happy, feel so happy. Tell me why you feel so happy. Come and tell me now. Very good. It's in Spanish. Dime por qué estás feliz, estás feliz, estás feliz. Dime por qué estás feliz. Ven y dime ya. So, Jimmy Jump, what do you think makes him happy? I wonder, what makes a djembe drum happy? Well, you know, I think that when I play with him and you and your house play with your djembe drums, that makes him happy because they love music. And when we play with them, that makes him have that big smile. So we're going to say music, musica. And we're going to do the answer to that song with a rhythm. So it's going to sound like this. Playing music makes me Makes me happy, makes me happy. Playing music makes me happy all day long. Very good. So the rhythm is basically just sounding out the words of, of the song. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Very good. Did you get it? Good. Alright, so let's try it with this song. It says, Tocando música me hace feliz, hace feliz, hace feliz. Tocando música me hace feliz. Vamos, es así. Very good. Now, Mr. Djembe Drum still has that smile on his face. I wonder what else makes him happy. Mr. Djembe Drum, what makes you happy? I think when people listen to him, People listen, that makes him have that big smile. So I'm going to say, escucha. I know when people listen to us, that makes us feel good too. So we're going to do our answer and say, Cuando me escuchan a mí, escuchan a mí, escuchan a mí. Cuando me escuchan a mí, me pongo muy feliz. When people listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. When listen to me, I feel very happy. Very good. Now, we're feeling way happier because Mr. Jemmy Drum, he likes people when people play with him and when people listen to him. So what would it sound like? When people listen to me, listen to me, listen to me, when people listen to me, I feel so happy. Very good. Are you feeling happy? Show me. We're even happier. When started? We started right here. When people listen to me, listen to me, listen to me, when people listen to me, I feel so happy. Very good. Now can you think of something that makes you happy? I'll tell you one of my favorite things that makes me so happy is to ride bicycle. When I get to ride my bicycle, I have a big smile on my face. That's right. So we're going to say, when I get to ride my bike, ride my bike, ride my bike. When I get to ride my bike, I feel so happy. On the film, on me busy, got me busy, on the me busy. On the film, on me busy, me pongo muy feliz. Very good. 
right now, show me very happy, we're getting so happy. Even happier. We're so happy, you might want to use both your hands and you can play anything you want. And babies. Very good. Now, do you remember what's the first thing that made Mr. Jimmy Drum happy? Music. So we say, Music a messy, muy feliz, muy feliz, muy feliz. Music a messy, muy feliz. Eso es así. What was the next thing? When people listen. Cuando me escuchen a mí, escuchen a mí, escuchen a mí. Cuando me escuchen a mí, me pongo muy feliz. What was my favorite thing? Riding bicycle. Cuando monto bicicleta, bicicleta, bicicleta. Start playing where we started. Very good, friends. So that is what Mr. Jembe Drown sounds like when he starts happy and then gets very happy. And then we start up where we began. Very good. Now, we're going to change Mr. Jembe Jem's emotion. I wonder what he would sound like when he is sad. Very good. So let's put our sad face on Mr. Jembe Jem and see what that would sound like. I wonder why he's so sad. I don't know. But we can ask him and we say, Tell why you look so sad, look so sad. So sad, tell me why you look so sad. Come and tell me now. What do you think makes a Mr. Jembe drum feel sad? Well, you know what I think. I think when I leave him on the floor and I don't pick him up, that makes him feel this way. He doesn't like that at all. And he tells me, Why you leave me on the floor? He has this sad face. So we're gonna do our answer. And we're going to do it with a sad, steady, I mean with a sad rhythm. And it's going to sound like this. When you leave me on the floor, on the floor, on the floor. When you leave me on the floor, I feel really sad. Oh, poor Mr. Jembe Drum. I didn't know he felt that sad. What would it sound like if he was in sadder? He was getting even sadder. When you leave me So we have our song and our rhythm and we're starting to feel slower and heavier and sadder. But Mr. Jembe Drum, we're going to do this. We're going to take a deep breath. Very good. We let that emotion settle in. We take control so we can feel better. And we're going to play where we started. Tell me what. Mr. Jembe Drum still looks sad. Let's ask him what else makes him sad. Mr. Jembe Drum, what else makes you sad? Tell me what does make you sad, make you sad, make you sad. Que te hace poner triste, vamos And I think Mr. Jembe Drum is feeling sad when I don't play with him. When I'm not playing music with him, he feels this way. That's right. So we're gonna say, when nobody plays with me, plays with me, plays with me, when nobody plays with me, I feel really sad. Oh, poor Mr. Jim Bajon. Can we try it again? 
Remember, let's try it now with our sad rhythm. And we're going to do it slow because Mr. Jelly Drum is feeling really, really sad. Poor Mr. Jelly Drum. When nobody plays with me, plays with me, plays with me. When nobody plays with me. Mr. Djembe drum. All right, let's take a deep breath so we can feel better. There we go. Take a deep breath. We're feeling a little better. So let's play where we start. Tell me why you feel so sad. Feel so sad. Feel so sad. Tell me why you feel so sad. Come and tell me now. So friends, sometimes we feel sad. And as we talk about it, we might feel a little sadder. But when we take a deep breath and we express the way we feel, we start to get better. We start to feel a little better and we're not feeling sounding like this. I'm feeling very sad, very sad, very sad. I am feeling very sad, oh, so sad today. And after we feel better, we might be feeling like this. I'm feeling a little sad, little sad, little sad. I am feeling a little sad. I'm going to get better. Very good, friends. All right, so that's when Mr. Jimmy Drum sounds when he is sad. Let's put our sad face down for a second. And I wonder what he will sound like when he's feeling. <coughs> what is this emotion? Angry, that's right. Sometimes Mr. Djembe Drum gets angry. And I don't know why, but we can ask him. And I'll ask him and see what makes Djembe Drum angry. So now we have to play our angry steady beat. How are we going to do that? You can do it any way you want to, really. Whatever expresses anger to you. To me, I'm going to play the Djembe Drum using my fist. When express sometimes because sometimes when I get angry, I close my fist. So we're gonna ask him. Why do you look so mad? Look so mad. Look so mad. Why do you look so mad? Come and tell me now. Dime por qué estás furioso. Estás furioso. Estás furioso. Dime por qué estás furioso. what would make Mr. Djembe Drum sad. You want to tell me? I think that what makes Mr. Djembe Drum angry is when I play too hard on his head. When we tap too hard on his head, he doesn't like that. It feels, it probably hurts him and doesn't like that. So when somebody hits us and it hurts us, we might get angry. So when you say, when you drum in Sorry, Mr. Jemmy Drum, I didn't mean to make you angry. And what else? He still looks angry, doesn't he? He still has this face. So let's ask him again. I know Mr. Jim Bajon once told me he gets very angry when people don't listen. When people don't listen when he's playing, he doesn't like that at all. When he feels ignored. So now we're going to play our angry rhythm. And we're going to say, when nobody listens to me. So it's going to sound like this. When nobody listens to me, listens to me, listens to me. So what happened?
happens if I play too hard on his head and, I, and nobody listens to him? How is he going to feel? I think he's going to feel very, very angry. So I'm going to say, Cuando nadie escucha mi, escucha mi, escucha mi, cuando nadie me escucha mi, me pongo furioso. What happens if he gets angry? How might that sound? Cuando nadie me escucha mi, escucha mi, escucha mi, cuando nadie me escucha mi, me pongo furioso. And sometimes we might get so angry, we might sound like this. I think that's how Mr. Jim Ray Jones is feeling. So when we feel that way, what can we do? Let's take a deep breath. Sometimes we might go to our quiet spot. And it's also good to express how we feel and why. So Mr. Jim Ray Jones was saying, I don't like when you hit my head so hard. I don't like when you jump too hard. So when you take a breath and we calm down, we can express the way we feel. Say, I don't like it when you jump so hard, jump so hard, jump so hard. I don't like it when you jump so hard. It makes me angry. That's right. But now that you said it, Mr. Jembe Drum is feeling better. So he sounds like this. I don't like it when you jump so hard, jump so hard, jump so hard. So now let's practice that. We're gonna practice Mr. Mr. Jembe Jump's anger. How with with the first thing he's just a little bit angry, and then how it builds up. Okay. So the first thing that bothered him or made him angry was when I drummed too hard. So we're gonna say, when you drum in way too hard, way too hard, way too hard, when you drum in way too hard, it makes me. Next thing is, do you remember? When nobody listens. When you don't listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. When you don't listen to me, I feel so angry. Now show me bigger. When nobody listens to me, listens to me, listens to me. When nobody listens to me, I feel angry. Very good. Show me even bigger. When nobody listens to me. Now just play anything you want. When you're so angry, just, what do you have to play? Like this. And freeze. Take a deep breath. To feel better. Take a moment. And how would you drum if you started to feel a little better? I am feeling better when I breathe. Do it one more time, take another breath. Let's do it smaller. I feel better when I breathe, better when I breathe, better when I breathe. I feel better when I breathe, I feel better. One last time. But now let's make it very small. That is what Mr. Drum, Mr. Jembe Drum sounds when he is angry. Now, the point of this exercise, you can do it uh, in different ways. You can use anything you want, any like any of the triggers that makes you angry, and then put them in, into the song. Okay, uh, so to summarize this exercise, uh, we use the drum to express happy, sad, and angry, and we use the rhythm pattern that could either get faster or slower to represent how that emotion could be big or small. Uh, and then I talked about the breath. When I was breathing, I was using the breath as that one resource that can help us calm down and bring that emotion down. And then we represent it in drum. 
you can choose any other thing you want to be that resource to calm down. It could be personal space, it could be saying your favorite word, anything that works for you or anything that you want to create awareness for can be replaced in instead of breath. But in this case, as an example, I wanted to use breath, breath as that one exercise or that one resource that will, can help us calm down and bring our emotions to a level, to a more level place when we need to. I hope you found these exercises helpful and fun to perform. I know I had a great time performing them for you, and I do believe they can be they can be very helpful when uh, practiced. But now it's time to say goodbye. So I'm going to take out Mr. Guitar right here, and I hope you can help me sing to say goodbye. Try to say goodbye. And say goodbye to all my friends. Let's say goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye to all my friends. Let's say goodbye. Goodbye. I hope you had some fun and also sing along. Goodbye to all my friends. Let's say goodbye. Goodbye. One more time. Goodbye to all my friends. Let's say goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye to all my friends. Bye friends, see you next time.